Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Harlington today in Greater London. I've come here to go and visit Harlington Locomotive Society for their mince pie run. So it's another episode of Miniature Road Britain. I'm just walking through the churchyard at the moment. It's apart from the, you may be able to hear the sound of the M4, it's uh, quite a nice reminder of how rural Middlesex would have been. We go down this tunnel of yew trees. We're going to walk past the church, walk along the road until we get to the railway. This is quite nice. It's uh, with the exception of there maybe not being any lights, which I wouldn't expect, it does feel quite Christmassy already. So we'll walk past the church, walk along the road to where the miniature railway is, and um, we'll have a ride behind whatever they're running, have some mince pies, and just have a nice afternoon. It's very cold. It was about minus five this morning. Here's the parish church. So it's a, a nice cold day. So I'm sure the, the running steam, the steam engine should look quite nice. Lots of uh, steamy effects in this cold weather. So here we are, this is the churchyard. Now I'm going to walk past the parish church. I do like it when you go to parts of London that still have a bit of a, a rural feel. As I say, it's a nice reminder of how rural Middlesex would have been. Coming out here, out onto the road. It's a little lane here. This lane would have probably gone all the way up to Hayes. So the railway station at Harlington, well, the railway station for Harlington, is Hayes and Harlington on the Great Western Main Line, now served by Crossrail, the Elizabeth Line. So that would have been the lane up that way, but that's been cut in half by the M4. It's a nice view there of the church. So I'm just going to walk along here. The new road comes down over there and the Locomotive Society is just up here. So if you were to come here, you could come here by train and by bus. That bus there, that's going to Norfolk Station. So various different ways you could get Central Line to Norfolk and get that bus. Or you could come on the Great Western Main Line, stroke Crossrail, the Elizabeth Line to get here. Right, so we come... Again, fields and everything feels uh, very rural. We're very close to Heathrow Airport. I can't hear much aviation activity, but only about a mile that way is one of the runways at Heathrow Airport, so it gives you an idea of where we are. Right, so we're going to cross the road now, and it's just a little way up here, and we'll get to the railway. So we come along here. Sometimes, I have been here before, you see horses in this field, which is, is usually quite nice. I do like being out on a nice frosty morning. It's just very, uh, look, see how frosty everywhere is. Continue down here, you see the sign now coming into Harlington Village. And this is where the railway is. So, I'm going to keep walking that way and we're going to find the railway. So I've just come a little way down the road and we are here. There we go, look, Harlington Locomotive Society. And I can see clouds of steam, so they're obviously running steam, which is nice. So here we go. This is their car park, I think. Hmm. Hold out for a mayor there. Uh, because it's a cold day, there's not that many people here, which is, well, I shouldn't have to wait long to get a ride. So here we are, this is Harlington Locomotive Society. That's their clubhouse there. So. There's a semaphore signal, so we have to go over a bridge because it's been a raised track, it's like a fence. And we need to go up and over the railway line. Which is, uh, makes it interesting. So I wonder if we wait here. If we wait here, we should see a train come along. But it sounds like um, they're steaming up a loco down there. It used to be an orchard. This club has been here since 1947. I'm not sure they've always been on this site, but the, the club has existed since 1947. So it's quite an old club. Been here a long time. That's the clubhouse where I've been told they're doing mince pies. Um, is that a train? I'm just sort of looking over there trying to see if there's a train. I thought I might have seen a train leave, so yeah, sounds like there's a train coming. Let's watch. I've no idea what we're going to see, but a train is about to come around the corner, so let's see what it is. Oh, there's a train. Little class 20. Yeah. So the, you get on at the station there, you come in a loop around here, and then the railway line runs along the edge of this tent, and then it goes off over there. So let's have a look over here. There's 
the steam in bays. There's a little Great Western Pannier tank there. It's been steamed up. There's a, a Kobo's Loco. And Thomas Tank Engine there's one of those. He's called Boko. There's a couple of Great Western Prairie tank engines. Just there. I don't know if they're going to be steamed up later on. And then that's the station. There's another Kobo Loco waiting there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and have a ride. enjoyed my trip on the railway. I quite like it when you go down there. It feels like you've really gone away from, you know, the world. 
So there's no passengers or no persons allowed beyond this point. The railway has very kindly given me permission to take you down there. And what we'll do, I'll we'll have a walk down and do a bit of line sighting. So we're just walking off the end of the platform, not something I'd normally do. And uh, if we walk down here, then it's uh, think we're sort of in like um, between two railway lines. I think the steam loco might be coming up the hill. I'm thinking, let's wait here, let's wait for the steam engine to go past and then we'll walk on down. So, taste of what's to come, steam loco on the hill. So, it makes some really nice steamy effects. Look how the steam just sort of lingers on in this cold weather. I'm not sure what the exact temperature is. It must be about probably at least, at least freezing or maybe minus one, minus two. Very nice crisp winter's day. So I'm literally walking down. I suppose you call this the middle of a double track section. It is basically a circuit. Um, is that a train coming? No. I want a kind of, um, although this is a safe walking route, I kind of want to be out of here before the next train comes along. Um, just seems better that way. So we get to here. Yeah, it sounds like diesel. And there's a train coming down the hill now. So this is the section where the two sort of lines park company. So that's, that's the Kobo loco. So that will go by. And then it will soon appear on this track. So there goes the... Oh, someone said Merry Christmas. So there goes the Kobo loco. So that will go round the back through the tunnel and come up here. There is also a gauge one layout and that's not part of what the public kind of see the, the club members run that at a different time. Let's see what I think it's really cool. Let's just go past here. Because of the cold winter's effects, look at that signal. Um, see how, see the cobwebs on it? It just looks, uh, I'll just see the train get past and we'll have a look. There it goes. Merry Christmas. It's quite nice having a little train go past you and have everyone shout Merry Christmas at you. Anyway, this is what I want to show you. Look at that. It just looks so... Uh... It's also nice it's a fully signalled line. So the so basically, so it's showing yellow, but um, once the train's passed, it shows red. So trains, you know, they can't catch each other up because they're just following each other around. Uh, if we go here, so that's a, that's a gauge one now. Look at that bridge. That's to get you into the gauge one. See all the cobwebs on it. And then just round here, there's another, there's their tunnel. We'll walk up to, we're not going to walk through the tunnel. We'll walk up to here. See that signal there? I think that must be off a railway line from somewhere, off a standard gauge line. And that will change when, so it's green at the moment, because the section ahead, the tunnel's just there behind Winnie the Pooh. The section ahead is um, free, empty, no train in it. Once a train passes, then that will go red, because... If there was another train coming along, then it would, you know, they'd have to stop there. And we've also come slightly downhill. So down here, we're down at the bottom of the hill. The station's up at the top. So as we saw the steam engine working up the hill, we'll see a bit more of that. The, the, the steam engine, well, all the engines have to work to get up the hill. Can I hear a train? I think so. Um, yeah, oh, it's the steam engine. So we'll watch steam engine go by. Now I'll do some line siding. See how the light has now gone red. And you may have noticed the steam engine wasn't making much smoke. There's a bit of steam. That's because it's downhill all the way. So what will happen is that will go green once the steam engine is over there now. Starting to work because the driver's got to open her up to climb the hill. And then once she gets past this, probably the next signal, which should go green about now, I would have thought. Maybe not just yet, but I'm looking the other way. At where oh, there we go. So, And the steam engine, if we turn around to see she's climbing the hill. So that's like one section all the way around to there. Anyway, I'm gonna hang around down here and we're gonna do some line siding and uh, we'll see the steam engine and a few others climbing the hills.
As we see the steam engine coming up the bank for the final time today, I've had a good afternoon here, really enjoyed it. It was very kind of them. They let me go line inside that little walk we did down there where we saw the train from a few different angles. It's now time for me to go. It's getting towards dusk when they said they'd stop running. So what I'm going to do, walk through the orchard, over the bridge and back into the normal world as it is. It's like you come over here, over that bridge, and you're just in this nice little world of just apple trees, miniature trains. I had a nice, in, in there, in that building there, there's a tea room, I had a couple of nice cups of teas and mince pies. It's been fun riding, so we've seen the boat, the Kobo, as I pointed out at the beginning, the prairie, I didn't actually see out today, but maybe another time. And then of course there's the pannier tank, which we had a ride behind earlier on, so. I think that's pretty much finished for today. We'll be going on to shed. Another one of their signals, which we explained earlier. That bit of track, that's an interesting one, because that's like the one, if you look, it goes to, goes to a little turntable there. And then that's, you can see there's a barrier, so that's like the way of getting locos in and out the site. Celebrated its 70 years in 2017, so, yeah, it's been here for 75 years, this furniture railway. And now we're gonna find our way, as I said, up over that bridge and back into the, you know, the real world. It's, it's been a really exciting afternoon here. So as I said, it's quite easy to get to. Buses literally go right past the site. So if you'd like to come and visit, then do have a look, uh, see when they're running and come here and have a nice afternoon like I did. If you don't come at Christmas, you may not get mince pies, but no doubt you probably get cakes with your tea in there. This little tea room. Always like how here, as I said, just the world of all the normal houses over there and in here you've got this little world of little trains it's it's great fun so uh, thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from Harlington Locomotive Society goodbye <laughs>